Hello, 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 hello. Uh, quick little video inside Studio Max showing you uh, a CAD file that's been imported. Uh, the file format I'm looking at uh, on this one is .step.step, which is from a CAD program. So when you get it, um, it might look a bit messy and horrible, but it's actually not. It's 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 fine. It's just a viewport type thing. So for an example, on this uh, control knob here, it looks all very triangulated and yucky but when I go and select it uh, Max will focus on that part of the object and show the uh, CAD data for what it really is so these are all splines and if I hit F3 it should show you so alt around that it is in fact spline data not polygons um, and back up to F3 again so yeah so it's just a viewport thing same with um, any part of the model like this part here where, where the uh, motors inside it or whatever click on that that gets it focused and it's all nice and clean it's like very clean um, or let's go another part down here let's try this leg bit so I think this leg bit is in two bits so yeah I'll go and select him and we'll uh, hit W to move and it's not located in the right place there we go so yeah there we go so that is very clean looking data. Yeah, it's only when you sort of uh, mess around with stuff that it's not so clean. So there you go, it's gone and triangulated and turned into sort of virtual polygons on this particular one here. Whereas on the left it's still, because I've got it selected, it's under focus, so it's all very clean. Uh, NURBS probably, or something, some of that solid or whatever, I don't know. Whatever they're using, same with I would imagine even the screw. Select the screw. There you go. It is in fact CAD data type things. And uh, yeah, that's that throughout the whole thing. Which is why step files are really good for rendering because you know they're not uh, they're very clean, um, very nice to render with. Um, even down to these little tiny cuts in the back, all nice cleanly done. And uh, yeah, so that's really it, really. That's just showing you that um, when you see a screen grab and it all looks nasty triangles, it's actually very, very clean and not nasty triangles at all. And that basically is that. There you go, that was inside out, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's all cool, really, honestly. Same in here. Go and select this guy. It's all clean stuff. Even the stuff that definitely looks horrible, like this, is actually perfectly clean. So it's, it's just a viewport optimization, I think. It's, uh, it draws it in polygons because it's going to be quicker to tumble it around. But when you actually go and render it, um, I imagine it does convert to polygons. Matter of fact, in the rail light here, rendering approximation, we can see uh, draft good and production. So when I hit rendering, it's the production version of that. Uh, faces per angle is 40, so it loads and I don't, know, I don't know. It looks cool. There you go. Highly technical, and uh, yeah. So I'm just wondering the um, the CAD loader that's inside Modo, if that does a similar thing, or you know, or when it brings it in, does it do this? Does it make polygons? Don't really want the polygons. I want one, the option of polygons, a converter that does a co good conversion, but Generally speaking, it'd be nice to know that what I'm importing is actually in. You know, like we do get this ultra clean, proper CAD data. It's not being converted at all. And that sort of covers that, I think. I think we've sort of gone to our natural conclusion of this highly interesting video. Right, um, happy new year and all that. Right, see ya, and I need a cup of something. Tea, possibly. Right. See you later. Bye.